Hi, hey, it's me, Zayford Beeblebrox, the British Tech Guru. This is a 3D print that I had to stop. This bit has printed quite reasonably so far, but this bit has clearly shifted position. So that print is not very good. I'm, it's just junk. Um, problem is, with 3D printing, I get so much wastage, and I've already had to modify this this uh, 3d printer somewhat um, up here oops no you can't see that when we move up a little bit up here I had to put a little loop just to keep the uh, filament going through through the loop because otherwise this thing will just leap off the leap off the holder um, so I had to give it some direction and here I have to put this wet wipe box to stop this cable from getting looped around this end and jamming the thing. And that might be a particular problem for the easy 3 d printer, but I doubt it. Um, I see um, I've, I've tried different filament. That was the orange filament. That's not particularly good. Uh, this is the green filament. And it's done quite reasonably, but it's a little bit stringy. Um, that's not really that good. Now, I've been through a couple of reels of filament. I started with some white, and then I did some yellow. It does do some good things, very occasionally. I can't remember what that's for. That was something I found on the Easy 3 website. And it's printed it quite reasonably. So quite pleased with that. Only thing is, I've got no earthly use for that. And it printed that quite quite reasonably, though again, I've got no particular earthly use for it. It just looks good, and I printed it, and it's actually printed quite well. Now, the orange filament, um, which I believe is actually provided by Easy 3 uh, produced by Easy 3 or sold, definitely got their label on it, um, that seems to fall apart. Um, now the other filament, I made a mistake and I got this stuff, um, which is um, TPU. I didn't know that TPU was a flexible filament, so that really didn't do too much for me. So and and I've been doing what they say, spraying hairspray on the bed, and that it works most of the time. I've tried glue sticks as well, and that works too, most of the time, but not always. And I get so much wastage from these printers, from, well, these printers, from this printer, that I'm wondering, really, if 3D printing is worth it. Um, and I want to do more, I want to work with some robotics. But the stuff I'm, I've got to work with seems to be very subpar. And I don't think it's a problem with this particular... I mean, yes, it's, there is a problem with this printer. It's not that great. But it can do better than it's doing at the moment. And I've ha already had to replace the print nozzle, uh, the print bed, and the circuit board. So obviously... I, I can replace parts if I need to. The problem is I've had to replace the parts and I should never have had to do that on a printer that's less than a year old. Um, I did get a full refund for the printer after it uh, after the board blew up the first time. It's only blown up once. Um, so I, I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm actually asking myself if I shouldn't have gone the other route um, no, I've seen, I've seen people using um, Meccano, and I've seen people using um, Lego, uh, the Lego Technic, for their robot projects. Um, and now, I personally, I, I, I like the Metal Meccano, but, but, the cogwheels for Metal Meccano are pretty expensive and the servos that I've got at the moment are pretty small. So I've got small servos and I've got very, very small gear wheels, which would all work if I can get the 3D printing to work. 
and that seems to be the bottleneck at the moment. I'm going to have to give this some more thought, but I'm, I'm, I don't want to say that I'm going to never 3D print again, that it's a load of rubbish, but I'm going to question whether it's worth my time at the moment.